you're gonna love your next performer. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one, short, short friend. He is Richmond's, one of Richmond's greatest comedic minds. Please put your hands together for Charlie Waring. The, Will, why did you call that guy short? That was cruel. Oh, I thought he just said, he, you said it twice. <laughs> hey, short guy. Yeah. That was cruel. That's fine, guys. You guys know that there's a saying I don't really like that people use sometimes. It's like to excuse messed up things in the past. They'll be like, it was a different time, right? Like someone had a child bride or something. They'll be like, it was a different time. Uh, I've started using that saying, but I use it in like uh, my own life. Usually like the morning after being blackout drunk, right? My roommate will be like, hey man, last night you were drunk and you pissed in my bed. I'm like, it was a different time. Uh, we didn't know what we know now. Uh, now we know you don't like pissing the bed. Uh, it's a learning, life's a learning experience. You guys agree? Yeah. No matter how old you get, you're still learning. You guys agree? Yeah. Like just recently I learned when you're with your girl, you're in the heat of the moment and she tells you to spit on it. I just learned before you spit, you're not supposed to go <sighs> <laughs> And now I know. Uh, hey, look at this short guy leaving. No, uh, <laughs> I know him. I know him, so it's okay. Will didn't know that guy who he <laughs> called short, so that was cruel. Um, the other day I was, <laughs> I was on a road trip with my buddy. I was driving, he was navigating, he was using the Waze app, which I never used before, but he had the Waze app, and on the Waze app, you can change the voice that's giving you directions to like different celebrities. Uh, and one of the celebrities you can make the Waze app is Master Chief from Halo. Um, if you're older, you don't know what the video game Halo is. It's like the shoots and ladders of my generation. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you can, set, you can set the voice to Master Chief. He'll say things like you set it to Master Chief, he'll be like, all right, we got a mission ahead of us, time to roll out, right? And he says Master Chief things. One bizarre thing he says is Waze lets you know when police are up ahead. And when police are up ahead, Master Chief goes, looks like there's cops up ahead. We might need backup. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> like Master Chief wants you to have a shootout with the police? What the? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like this new lord of Master Chief. He, Master Chief is ACAB. <laughs> Master Chief's like, hey, there's a bunch of fascists up ahead. Get the needler equipped. Uh, you can set it to Mario. Mario tries to convince you to commit suicide by cop. <laughs> See how many you can take out before they get to you. Make sure Facebook Live is on. I don't know. My Mario is Jamaican. I don't. I'm working on it. I don't. I can't do Italian. Um, that's fine. I don't really like my job. Um, <laughs> Been thinking about quitting my job. I think I know the perfect career, though. It seems like the easiest job in the world. Uh, I want to be a sex therapist. Seems pretty easy, right? It's like, uh, yeah, dude, make her come. <laughs> $300 a session! Uh, I don't know, seems easy. Uh, no, no, I have good sex advice. Like, uh, Actually, it's funny. For like a guy to be good at sex, he has to, to make a girl come, you have to not come, right? That's so weird, right? You gotta hold it in as long as you can. It's just funny, right? You're like, when you're like with someone, things are getting hot and heavy, all the thoughts going through your mind, like, oh, this is so hot, she looks so good. You're like, wait, hold on. Let me think about my taxes. Uh, <laughs> what am I buying the next time I go to the grocery store? Ah, uh, no! <laughs> Thought about peaches, I came. I don't know, okay. <laughs> Stupid. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I don't know who said that. Uh, Hell yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't like dad jokes. Or I don't like the term dad jokes. Cause like, I don't know. I was so confused the first time I heard that. Cause I used to work at a grocery store and my boss was like, I love dad jokes. You want to hear a dad joke? Like my, my butthole clinched. I was like, I don't know what the hell this guy's about to say. He told me some stupid pun, right? It was like, you know, what do you call a cow with no legs, ground beef or something, something dumb like that. And I was like, I think we had way different dads. <laughs> I don't know, like a dad joke in my house usually ends with like a Chinese man mispronouncing something. Uh, all right. Some of you can relate. Well, my name's been Charlie Wayne. Thank you very much. Let's bring this tall guy up here, Will. Moving on for Charlie, our dads have very 
similar senses of humor. Holy shit, they love the ending of A Christmas Story when they sing in the Chinese restaurant. That is my father's favorite joke of any movie, any of all time. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know how we're gonna top that. Oh, wait a minute, I just thought of a way. Your next performer, everybody. You know him, you love him. Put your hands together for Anthony Ferrara. And keep it going for your final performer of the evening, everybody. He's a stud. You all know him. You all love him. Clap your hands for Patrick Logan. Oh, man. What's up, the camel? Holy shit. Hey, uh, my name is Patrick. I uh, came here from Hopewell. Um, if you haven't been to Hopewell, it's a beautiful city. Um, if you have been there, you know I'm lying, you know. I'm lying. The last time I was here, I was actually rapping. Uh, I had the best rap performance of my life on that stage in there. Uh, but I haven't been rapping lately because it's just way, you gotta put way too much into rapping. You gotta buy beats, you gotta buy studio time, you gotta buy Molly. It's just way too, way too much. Um, uh, I'm also into country music too. Um, there's this one song I like by like Kenny Chesney. How does it go? It's like uh, no shoes, no shirt, no condom. Love that. That's uh, love that song. Uh, but I'm not really much of a manly man. Uh, not much of a manly man. But if my car breaks down on the side of the road with a flat tire, I can change the windshield wiper blades. I can do that. <laughs> Uh, we will have a clear view out of the windshield while we wait on my mom to come change the donut. Um, I try to do manly things though. Um, my seatbelt buckle broke recently and I was like, I'm gonna fix this. And uh, I'm really proud of myself because it only took me five minutes of watching a YouTube video uh, to realize I'm gonna take it to the shop anyway. Um, you gotta take the whole seat out? Fuck that, not doing that. Um, yeah, not much of a manly man, uh, let's see, let's see, I don't really expect much from myself either, uh, my greatest accomplishment is getting a really good job for a multi-billion dollar company, it pays me just as much as I hear they're hiring for at Wendy's now, I'm real proud of that, uh, yeah, hell yeah, multi-billion dollar company, and I saw a mouse at work recently, a mouse just shoots across the floor, pissing and shitting everywhere, eating crumbs off the floor, and I was mad as hell, because I work from home. Um, and I didn't catch it, that motherfucker's still at my job right now. Uh, um, I do work from home. Uh, I love working from home. Say what you want, casual Fridays has nothing on Balls Out Thursdays, am I right? Uh, I'm not wearing any drawers right now. Um, no, not much of a manly man. Uh, my mom raised me. Uh, when I was a kid, she told me that a stork dropped me off, that that's how I got here. And all I could think when she said that was, why didn't the stork drop off a dad too, you know? Um, no, I was a smart kid, a smart kid. Uh, anybody smoke weed in here? Yeah. Not a couple, couple people? It's stupid to ask questions when you're doing comedy. Like, I don't want to talk to you guys, uh, not have a conversation. Oh uh, no, my mom got high recently for the first time. She used to hate that I smoked weed growing up, but then it became edible and dark chocolate. Uh, and she was like, well, I do have back pain, you know? I do have back pain. Um, I was vaping some weed around my family recently, and my aunt, she's like, what are you doing? Are you smoking pot? You better not bring that shit around my kids. And I was like, relax. Your kids aren't that cool. Uh, plus, they're rednecks. They're gonna smoke meth. Tell your kids not to bring meth around me in 10 years. Uh, no, but they're good kids. I gave them some, some gummies. Um, any single people in here? Single people? Hell yeah, this is a party. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I try to do some dating, but I'm, I'm tired of the online dating apps. You know, uh, my friend gave me some advice. He was like, uh, he's like, Patrick, when you go out like to a bar like the Camel, don't buy women drinks. It makes you look desperate. Buy guys drinks. It makes you look cool, you make friends. And ever since I've been taking that advice, I've actually been hooking up with a lot more dudes. Uh, um, 
So this guy up front, man, will get you anything you want, man. Next drink's on me, man. Oh yeah, I got you. Uh, but no, this is really cool. The first open mic at the Camel. I want to leave you guys on a word of wisdom. It's never too late to chase your dreams. I didn't find my favorite music until I was 26. Uh, I didn't start chasing my comedy dream until I was 32. I'm on track to come out the closet by 55, guys. So, uh, my name's Patrick Logan. Thanks for having me. Give it up for your host, Will. Virginia. Holy shit. Did you say Hopewell or Petersburg? <laughs> Same thing. Oh my goodness. You have to be there to see it, everybody. Well, folks, that is our show this evening. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. I want to thank each and every one of our performers, but most importantly, I want to once again thank the bar staff here at the Camel, everybody. A round of applause for the bar staff one more time. We do this every other Thursday here at the Camel. We will be back in two weeks. Until next time, folks, drive fast and take chances. Have a great night, everybody.